Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, so we're going to be doing um, method of section. So we're, we're in chapter 6 from the fundamentals. And we're going to focus first, the first six problems will be method of, uh, method of joints. And then we'll move on to method of sections after. And I'm assuming you guys will, will prefer to do method of sections once you learn how to do that. Alright, so to do these kind of problems, the first thing you want to do is find the reactions. Most of the time, like 90% of the time, you always want to find the reactions first. So at A, you know you have reaction force from the roller. Let's call it AY. And then at C, we have CY and CX. Okay. And then we're going to just analyze the structure as a whole. Okay, so first off, let's do f of x. Okay. And then we're going to get minus 450. Right, because of this force right here that's hiding out. And then we have plus cx. Okay. And this gives us cx is 450 pounds. Okay, so we have one of the reaction components. Then we will do forces in the y direction, okay, which is going to be ay plus cy equals zero, okay, and then just like before, we're just going to take a moment about a. You can either do a or b; it doesn't really matter. You're going to get the same uh, result. So moments about a, okay. So which forces contribute to the moment at a, or pretty much which forces? try to make this structure rotate about point A. Well, we have the 450 here, okay? And that wants to make it rotate, you know, counterclockwise, okay? So we're gonna have 450, right? And then extending the line of action here, right? We have this distance, perpendicular distance here, it's gonna be four feet. So 450 times 4, okay? And then we also have CY, counterclockwise CY, times 8, okay? Equals 0. So then 450 times 4 divided by 8, and then we get CY is negative 225 pounds, okay? So right here, I assumed going up, but it's actually pounds going down, okay? And that means AY is also equal to 225 pounds. Okay, that does it for the reaction forces. Now we're going to be getting into what we came here for, method of joints. So... Method of joints, we're going to be analyzing the nodes. So A, B, D, and C. Okay, so we're just going to do this. First things will be, I'm going to look at joint A. Okay, so joint A. And then we'll, after we do this a few times, we'll start finding the shortcuts. So joint A. Okay. Now, what forces are on A? Well, I know that there's A, Y. Okay. Let me just change color here. I know there's a y going up, right? And a y is actually up, so I don't have to switch direction there. So two two five, okay. And now there's two members, okay? There's member a d connected to it and member a b connected to it, okay? So I'm just gonna draw a force along the direction of those members. So a d and a b okay and notice how i drew a d and a b away from joint a okay away from the yellow dot what that means is i'm drawing those forces in tension okay anytime you draw the force away from the joint okay so a d and a b you're drawing it in tension so at first start off by always doing that okay and let's see 
So here I have 2, 2, 5 in the y direction and then a, b in the positive x. Okay, I'm always going to be using like this, x, y. Okay, so a, d, I have to find its components, right? And for this one, I know it's a 45 degree angle here. Okay, so then just do your equilibrium equations here. So f of x equals 0. And then I'm going to have a d cosine 45, so square root of 2 over 2, plus a b equals 0. And then do the same thing for the y. You want to pick up you want to pick a node where you have some information on. So notice how I didn't pick B, and we'll get to that. Because uh, we, we didn't know anything there. And then D, there's three three um, what's it called? Three members and only one four, so it's too many unknowns. So I, I picked A. Okay. So let's keep analyzing. So in the y direction, I have 2, 2, 5, right? Plus AD sine 45. So AD squared of 2 over 2. Okay. So notice in this equation, the FY equation, I can solve for AD. AD is equal to two two five. Oh yeah, listen to Post Malone. All right, so negative two two five times two divided by square root of two, and that gives me a negative three eighteen point two pounds. Okay, so what happened here? So now AD is negative. All right, so I assumed everything was in tension. But because I get a negative number here, that means AD is actually in compression. Okay, so usually I like to just say, okay, 318.2 pounds in compression. Okay, so now this this is like what you would like give your teacher. Okay, so now let's plug in the force here. All right, let's plug that into here. All right, and that tells me that AB is equal to, so notice that will be negative 318.2 times um, cosine of 45. And then that gives me 225 pounds, and I got a positive result here, so that is actually intention. So our assumption was correct. Okay, so now we found the, you know, um, the force in member AB and AD. All right, so now let's move on to another node. Okay, let's go to node, let's go to node B. B is a little interesting, because here we have a zero force member. So here's B, so joint B. And you can identify these very quickly. So here I have BD. Now look how I'm going to draw AB. So AB was actually in tension. So I'm going to draw AB going away from the node. Okay. And I'm going to draw BC away from the node as well. In tension. Okay. So what happens here when you sum the forces in the y? Right? So what happens is that BD, there's nothing else counteracting it, so BD is equal to zero. Alright? So that's a zero force member. Alright? And then we sum the forces in the x, right? Equals zero. I have minus two two five plus BC and then BC is 225 pounds. And that's actually in tension because it's positive. Okay. So let's go back to our drawing here, or our figure, picture. All right, so we got this one. We got this one. We got this one. 
and we have this one. All right. So should we look at D? Mm, let's just look at C. Okay. So joint C. All right. So again, let's draw all the forces acting on C. So let's start. CY is two two five pointing downwards. We found that out in the beginning. So I have two two five. I'm just going to draw the reaction forces first. Then I have CX going this way. Pounds. Alright. I have BC going this way. Alright. And I drew, I'm drawing it in tension because I found just in the previous step right here that, you know, BC is in tension 225. 225. And last but not least, I have force DC, and I know the angle is 45. Okay, so too many, if I do it in the X, you know, I have three components. So I'm just gonna say forces in the Y equals zero, all right? And I'm gonna have minus 225 over here plus the y component of dc which is going to be dc sine 45 equals zero and then dc i'm going to get back a positive answer 225 divided by sine 45 and so that's positive 318.2 pounds and because it's positive, I'm going to say that it is in tension. And there you have it. So now we've uncovered all the forces in each member. Okay. So as you can see, the, the bigger this truss is, the more of these things we have to do and the longer the problem is going to get. Okay. So thanks for sticking with me. If you have comments or questions, concerns, just uh, drop them down below. I hope to see you in the next video. See you guys later.